franchise mode back with another video game nine we going against the indianapolis colts on the road let's get it popping let's get it popping See if we can go nine and zero. Jameis Winston is their QB. Okay, okay. Uh oh. First play of the game. Let's go. First offensive play of the game. Let's go. Let's go. That's what we like to see. That's what we like to see. We drop you in now to first quarter action as the offense begins this drive. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. Viking ball carrier. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. Let's go. Before he takes it Establish that run. Establish that run. He's brought down at the 42 yard. He line. was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this being a little ambitious that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense though, doesn't it? Have we ever run take the drag? That had a great game the week before. That didn't think that's just going to naturally continue. Just you gotta take what the defense gives you. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. Now from Colts territory. Here's a first and ten at the 41. This go for the end zone, and it's caught in the. End oh, he got it in there! Touchdown by Justin Jefferson. Oh my God, JJ, 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 don't do him like that. So the football will be at the 25-yard wow. line as Ooh. this offense gets set to take over on first down. It's Cook. We gonna have a we gonna have a slugfest. I see. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 yards. It looks like some big time runs here in this first half. Yeah, let's just face it. When you go into a game, you think you looks like it's going to be an offensive, but when you actually get out there, offensive game for both teams. And he's running with terrific ability right now. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let it go deep. Right sideline. And he overshot him there. What? Incomplete. Tried to go back. Can I challenge that? Again to Adam Thielen. I want to challenge that. So the ref takes a peek here, wants to see if the receiver had possession and both feet. Let me see. If this were a college game, this would be a legal catch. It's the second foot that they're looking at to make sure it gets down. You have to have two inbounds in the NFL. I think I got in. What? No way. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay. I thought I got in, but oh well. He lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. What's the flag? comes back to the head coach he has the final determination i'll oh, rough the passer i'll take that in this case it didn't pay off for him and that's got to be so heartbreaking you throw that flag you probably feel really confident 
And then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, you're another you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Cook following the penalty. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. He's brought down. This defense against the run, by the way, they're not top five, but they are top ten. So what's your philosophy here? Do you try and run the ball against a team that's pretty good against the run? What if you're a pretty good running team? If so, you might want to go ahead and run it anyway. I wasn't even looking to run, but... First and goal. Certainly making his presence felt in both the pass and the run game. He's having an impact. Yeah, and his first carry of the game right there. He had hurt him with his arm. Now he's showing that he can shuffle the puppies as well. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Second and goal at the Colts' six-yard line. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Flushed out right, and that will be caught oh. out of the end zone. Got to get your feet in there. It's ruled incomplete. It's my fault. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. He'll drop to throw, eluding the pressure right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Mm. Wow. Oh, I should have ran it. I should have ran it, but oh well. Another crucial turnover. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive, and also give him a first down. He continues to be effective running the football, a big reason that they have the lead. And I love one of the quotes that I read about him, where he said, of himself, I love it when a team just hops on my back, and I just carry them along. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. Let's go. To the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 16 yards right off the bat for the first down. Back to throw. That's caught by the tight end, Irv Smith Jr. The pass. Complete seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Seven-yard pickup. Brings up second and three at the 39-yard line. Flush to his right. He'll take a shot for the end zone. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take it. I took a shot. But it's third down. Many times when a play breaks. I took a shot. Moving around outside of the pocket, you're thinking just get rid of something short. But a lot of guys are coached. Oh. Hoping someone can get lost behind the secondary. They weren't able to connect on that one. Can I make a 56 yarder? Rally the troops to force fourth down after that seven yard pickup back on first. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think Let's the way he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball is even snapped. A great job of saying. You gave up the touchdown? Oh, man. So the offense set to take the field here. They will have the football with less than a minute. Come on, defense. Hey, I gave up the touchdown. You ready, man? Coverage. I don't know what they're going to do. throw here on first down. Oh, going for Jefferson. He's got a man complete. Let's go. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 39 yards there. A big one. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Got one time out left. Let's see what they do. Let's see what it'll take. Fire protect over there. They'll look to throw here. Let's go. He's gonna try and go. And this is caught in. Let's go. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Okay. This 
ready to get back out got the ball back let's uh start the third quarter starting the third quarter with cook and he's tackled a yard short of the marker good gain of nine on first down Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. They'll keep it on the ground. It's cool. Get this first down. Able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Other than that bad pick I threw, um, we should have control of this game for real, for real. We just get on our backs and we'll still get the first down. They love being physical. On first down, it's Cook. This one across the 45 before he's brought down. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. It's been a remarkable day at the office for him running the football. Those yards just continue to pile well past 100. And how about more than double-digit carries in the second half alone? That's what you want as a runner because you've got to prove... Play it safe. Let's play it safe. That you're going to be as tough as they are. They don't rotate in and out on every play. Running backs often do, so those who can stay out there with their offensive linemen, those are the guys they really value. Only needing two yards on second down. From the gun, it's again to Cook. Man, what? At the line of scrimmage. We're not back. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. What an advantage Let's go. The defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the line That's Dalvin Cook, man. He can also make plays himself as we just from Florida State. Stop playing. It's first and ten. They run. Cook. Nothing doing. Barely able to muster a yard to hit the 35. That's the MVP right there. What else is new? That'll put him right at 150 yards for the game. So he's really made his presence felt in this one. Here's a throw right side. Take Let's go. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. At the eight-yard line. Nice job there of utilizing his big target. He didn't overthink it. Understands the catch radius. Understands that he knows how to use his body to keep defenders away from the ball. And puts it right out there. For the this man grabbed me with one arm. <laughs> one arm. Gain on the play that time, but it sets up. See if I can hit JJ. Be patient, be patient, be patient, be patient. I see you, JJ. Oh, good defense on their part. Kenny Moore that time. Let's do this. Someone was very confident in his ability to fit that one in. I would say he was overconfident because there wasn't a whole lot of. I try to fit one in. That one covered pretty well. I ain't gonna lie. And knocked it away. And he was able to shed one tackle, but could not get away from there. Fourth and goal at the two-yard line. But now they're looking at a fourth down situation. I like this effort there. He got it done on his own. But let's face it, he puts defenses in a really stressful spot when he takes off and runs. It's caught I'm going to go to my superstar, my other one. Let's go, JJ. It's set. So following the fumble, this offense will get another fumble, shot. Fumble by 14. Onto the field. Oh, that's bad stick on my part. Call it no gain. Second down coming up. What we gonna do? Shoot Linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. Back to throw now on second and ten. Dancing to his left. He'll run it. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. The quarterback on the scramble. Back like Calvin can't run. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. So from the 36 now, first and 10. We got three. On play action, they'll throw. Flushed out right. Now he'll pull it down, and he is out of bounds Let's go. inside the 30. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Now that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. What a pass. 
pass. What a pass. Inside the 10 to the 9. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And the Vikings are going to have a first and goal forthcoming as he takes this down to about Ooh, They're rushing defense. Five yard line. We ain't number one today. Not after today. Or top five, whatever it said. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. Mm. Oh, my goodness. I thought he always caught that. Is that pass interference? Let's see what that's about. <laughs> that man almost caught a one-hander. And since the penalty occurred in the one-yard line, that's one-yard line. First and goal from the one-yard line. Costly Give it to Cook. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. Oh, wow. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Let's flip it. It's a loss of one. Brings up second and goal. After another toe for the workhorse this afternoon. It's get off me. Get off me. Get off me. What are you doing? You little. Get off me. Let's go. GG, this game is over. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. This game is over. First down, here's the run with Cook. Stay inside. No water bounce. Stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Longest Cook get his touches. 15 to 20 touches a game. He should be successful. Yeah, but the average he's got so far, that's the type of average he wants to take with him to contract negotiations, doesn't he? So the Vikings in possession of the football as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Just give him the MVP trophy right now. Just give it to him. Just give it to him. Just give it to him. I know he got to be over 200. So now we're in the final minute of the game in the fourth quarter as this offense gets ready to take over. They start the drive with Cook. And he'll be upended at the 28. Oh, 188. Just a three yard game there. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the. That's a GG's. Let's go. Charles, it's 9 0. Put up the amount. Getting money, yeah. Getting money, yeah.